We started our inspection today with a property far up north in Wallert. It's about 30 to 40 minutes to the city center. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom and a double garage property on a piece of land pretty big at 308 square meter. The asking price for this property is from 570 to 620,000. Later on, we found out this house was sold for $646,000 and it was during the peak period because everything that gone through our auction always pumped the price up a lot. The property is really well kept and it's very spacious. Look at the size of the laundry, oh my gosh. And here, one of the guest bedroom. That's a good idea, you can keep your coat and hats there. This must be the pantry. The pantry is very big too. Wow. It's a big stove. This kitchen island. The living area and dining area is not too big, but I guess it's enough. Over here, I guess another two bedrooms. This is the guest bathroom with a bathtub. It seems to be a common trend that the bathtub is always in the guest bathroom. They turn the fourth bathroom into a study, which makes sense. Let's have a look at the outside area. They have a little unspread coal here. And it's a little bit of lawn. The garden is not too big but it's low maintenance, it's built very closely to the other properties around it. Here's the double garage. We then moved on to the next property in Glenroy. It's a beautiful small boutique unit with two bedrooms, two bathrooms and a single garage. But since it's a bit closer to the city center, the price is a bit higher. It's ranged from $580,000 to $630,000. It has beautiful wooden floor. The old owner has just renovated it, so it has all of the modern touch and very, very nice design to it. All of these looks like new. There's not much space in it, but it's kind of expected in this area. There's no public transportation nearby, so I guess it's not ideal for us. But it's actually a really nice property. It has two floors. So there's one bedroom downstairs here and another bedroom upstairs. The space in the bedroom is actually not much different from an apartment, I guess, but is on a plot of land of over 200 square meter. So you have some space, you have the garage and some outdoor space over here. That's the garage. You can put barbecue and a table set. Let's check out upstairs. There's a little nook for study. The skylight as well. The bathroom looks really, really nice. They've done a great job renovating this house. Even put a new bathtub in there. Second bedroom. The surrounding area is nice as well and I think there's a golf club right near this place. Next up we have two properties to look at in Port Cook. 
Both of the properties in Port Cook had three bedrooms, two bathrooms and a double garage. This first one is a house with asking price from 590 to 640,000. It looks like this open house attracts a lot of people. I like that all of the rooms had a window. So lots of natural light, even the toilet and the guest bathroom. We're not a big fan of the tile flooring though. The layout of this house is actually really good. The backyard is a little bit small. I actually feel a little bit claustrophobic in this garden because there's so many walls up and it's all surrounded by neighbors. Oh my gosh, even when we were leaving, there were so many people coming in to see this property. The next property is a townhouse in a big development area, right next to the freeway. Since it was built in the earlier phase, this area is very much established and all of the landscape looks really, really nice. This townhouse has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms and a double garage. The bedrooms are all upstairs. The asking price was from 590 to 640,000. You see the toilet and the, the staircase. Here's the laundry. Kitchen looks really nice. Huge oven and bench top. The whole house is very well maintained and look very new. If you've seen my previous videos in this house hunting series, you might have recognized this as we visited a display house for the newer townhouses which are being built and will be ready for handover in November this year. I do love this backyard. The one we inspected before was in a corner unit though and its backyard was a lot smaller than this. It didn't have windows along the side of the house like this one either. However, for the new phase, the corner townhouse is not available anymore. That's why we decided to go to this open house when it's on the market. This one is slightly cheaper compared to the new corner unit that is being built. The upside is that we don't have to wait until the end of the year. And this house had already got a covered deck and a full security window system which would cost about $20,000 if we want to put them in ourselves. Oh, this PowerPoint's there too. Again, this lovely area is very secured and we really, really like it. 